This time on Air Show. What's up, 500? The Patriots push their limits. Blue now. To master a dangerous new maneuver. You mess this up, you could hit your teammate. A bad call. Carol hadn't buckled her seatbelt. Leaves the wing walker clinging to her cockpit. A young pilot takes a risk that could cost him his life. Mama said he'd never make it. That spirit, no tears to cry. Too young, too dumb to listen. Cold courage strapped in a drought. Just east of San Francisco. Thanks, Woody. Give me some. Six black jets. Pirate traffic, 6 l 39s Return to the sky. Runway 1 and 2. Patriots, check. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six airplanes in the air. Six again. Here we go. The Patriots have re-engaged. This, this. Always good to get back up in the air. For their first practice in six months. The first practice of the season is usually our worst practice. You just want to get back to where you were as fast as you can. Hey, a little bit of G here. The pilots have one day. Don't rush. To dust off their dangerous routine. And all the way around. Keep coming, keep coming. Stop before their first air show of the season. Don't put any inputs in. Don't put any input. Every single second of flying matters. Yeah, I thought you were on the control. No, I was not. There's not a lot of time to shake the rust off. The rust has to come off right away. Roll out. In British Columbia, 26-year-old Stefan Trischak is finally getting his first shot at becoming an airshow pilot. This is a very big day. I'm so close I can almost taste it. Last season, Stefan's flying skills failed to impress. That's how you die. This season, the rookie pilot is back. With a new attitude and a new airplane. This thing is a rocket ship. A 340 horsepower pit special. It's almost bit me in the ass a couple times already. That's better. This Pitts was also Super Dave Matheson's first show plane. Earth. Winds from the west about 13, 14 knots. Stefan must fly a flawless 12-minute routine in front of legendary pilot Bud Granley. Something has to come out of this, pass or fail. In the air show industry, Bud is an ace. What's your next maneuver? Uh, I'll do four. One of a select few to decide when a pilot is safe to fly near thousands of people. What Stefan has to do is demonstrate proper control of the aircraft. It's getting a little wind blowing us this way. You want to keep doing these? Stay over the runway or the other side. Compensate for the wind to stay over the runway at least. I pulled up into the hammerhead. I pivoted it around and I looked down. And I realized, ah, oh, crap, I'm not quite lined up with the runway. If Bud thinks Stefan has broken the show line, he will fail. 
Uh, we've seen enough. Come on, bring it in. It's close. Let's see what Bud thinks. I taxied in, and I'm thinking to myself, I hope I passed. In California, with an air show less than 24 hours away. One's up 500. The Patriots' first practice of the year. Here's a boarding. Uh, I'm actually a little confused where I am. Flying straight ahead. Is falling apart. I hope I know where he is. I know where he's supposed to be. We have six jets spread out all over the place. That potential of hitting each other, it's just, it's all bad. Making it tougher this season. Okay, we'll do the fan break to a terminate RTB. Is the addition of a new maneuver. We're right there, right here. A spectacular but risky finale called the fan break. We are in a tight formation coming right at the crowd, and then at one precise moment, we all split. Each jet must pull away from each other at precisely 30 degrees. Stand by smoke. Smoke on ready now. Lead pilot Dean Wright, call sign Wilbur. Easy board, left turn. Sets up the team for its first attempt. Stand by the brake. They have to pull the same amount of G. They have to pull the same angle away from each other. Are we not climbing? I want to punch bro. Yeah, you did. If people don't break out at the right time, there's a high potential of collision. You mess this up, you could hit your teammate. Blue, now. Red, now. White, now. What happened? They're way up climbing now. Yeah. See, see, look at everybody's pitch. Terminate RTB. I think we've had better practices than that. Yeah. Get too old for this, man. See it? It's a little too branchy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it looks it like It needs to a... be more of a all-at-once thing. It doesn't look like a fan at all. It looks like some sort of tree with a trunk and some branches at the top. I think they want to, as a minimum, practice that fan break one more time. Wilbur wants another practice. It's not worth 15 grand to go work on one maneuver for a fan break. But team owner Randy Howell is concerned about fuel costs. Every season is very difficult financially for the team. We've got a lot of expenses. Every year, Randy battles to keep his private team flying on air show fees and corporate sponsors. If we're just going up to figure out the fan break, that makes no sense. After his biggest test yet, it's close. Let's see what Bud thinks. Stefan's about to find out if he'll finally become an airshow pilot. I'm feeling a little bit nervous. I can't do another evaluation for six weeks. I've already booked my air shows for this summer. I hope I pass. Ace Bud Granley will decide if Stefan has passed the test. Well, Stefan, I got some, some sort of some good news and bad news for you a little bit. Uh, actually, congratulations. Really? <laughs> Thank you. When Bud shook my hand and smiled, I knew I was in. Yeah, welcome to the air show business. This is the very first day of Stefan's air show life. I'm ready to fly air shows. Nothing's going to hold me back now. Welcome. OK, thanks. To get to his first air show, Stefan must fly further north than he's ever flown before. A thousand miles to Yellowknife in the Canadian Arctic. I definitely didn't pick an easy, close air show site. This is going to be quite the trip. To Yellowknife. Super Dave Matheson and his new partner, John Melby, are also en route. Flying up in North Canada will scare the bejesus out of you. There's not a lot of options. There's no airports around. This is a long way away. 
Eight years ago, Dave ran out of options over the Arctic. He was forced to land on a frozen lake after his twin engine Aerostar caught fire. Six hundred miles into the journey, the rookie pilot runs into trouble. It's mist, it's raining, it's just brutal. Conditions are rapidly deteriorating, and the closest airport is still more than 40 miles away. I'm thinking, what else can go wrong now? And my GPS loses reception. I'm looking for some sort of road or lake or something so that I can find exactly where I am. I just got that chill up my spine because I didn't know what the hell I'm going to do. Uh, radio or terminal, this is called Kilo India X-ray with special biplane. A young pilot is lost en route to his first air show. This is uh, a special biplane called Kilo India X-ray. I see your evening. Stefan's GPS has just failed. I just got that chill up my spine because I didn't know what the hell I'm going to do. His biplane is equipped with a transponder that sends a signal to track his location. Uh, your current heading actually will intercept Highway 63 at about three miles. That's going to be your best marker here to follow in. Don't kill any X-ray, all right, so I'll uh, keep my eyes open. Thank God. The tower is picking up my transponder. I basically followed the highway into Fort McMurray. And this is Kilo India X-ray. Uh, ground frequency, Fort McMurray. Oh, I think I'm late to a little bit. In Yellowknife, air boss Donna Flynn gets the call she's been desperately waiting for. What I need tonight is for you to get some sleep. I'll try and get there as soon as I can. Uh, in the morning, I'll be here 5 to 6 a.m. Stefan must still fly more than 400 miles north. He's young. He's new. I'm worried about his mindset. I'm worried about exhaustion. Okay, bye. Bye. The Patriots are in a dilemma after a rough first practice. I think they want to, as a minimum, practice that fan break one more time. It's not worth 15 grand to go work on one maneuver for a fan break. Um, personally, I would like to fly one more time. Lead pilot Wilbur puts a second practice to a vote. Two. Definitely like to fly one more. Three. Four. Absolutely. If the pilots vote yes, it'll cost team owner Randy Howell another $15,000 in fuel. Five. Yeah. Okay. Six. You know, as much as Randy says he thinks we're good to go, we all agree we need to go fly. The vote is unanimous. This has to be looked at from a team perspective, not a Randy perspective. They think that it's in the interest of safety. So we go with another practice. So we're not doing two full profiles. We're just doing one full profile as a fan break to try and save Randy fuel. <laughs> Byron traffic, 6039s, uh, taxiing for runway 12, departure to the east, Byron. We have one crack at this. We have to figure it out on this practice, or it's no good. There's that red tail hawk hanging out. Show left. Copy that, Zippy. Corey Lovell, call sign Zippy will act as the Patriots' safety net at tomorrow's air show. I'm excited to take on the responsibility. I get to hang out with some of the best pilots in the world, smell jet fuel, and have fun. He's going to be the air boss this weekend. Zippy's never done this job before, and it's a very important job. So how far over this way are they going to? There's another one right here. Go spread cheeks. Two, three, four, five, six. Setting up for the fan break. 
as the team lines up for its new maneuver. Jet 6 is falling behind. As I'm rolling out the formation, I can hear Banker. He's pissed. And sure enough, he's wide. Banker has miscalculated the power needed to get into position. I look over, and I know I'm not where I need to be. I only have a finite period of time to get to that position. We need to get Banker in a little bit farther. This is not looking good. No. Flu break, south, red, south, white, south. Just didn't get there. I let those guys down. The next time is showtime, and we gotta get it right. The Patriots will have to fly tomorrow's first show with an act that's up in the air. That's it. We're going to the show with this. This is July 10th at about 10 o'clock. I'm heading to Yellowknife. After getting lost on his way to the Canadian Arctic, Stefan launches for his final push to his first air show. Fort McMurray, uh, Kilo DX ray rolling for takeoff. GPS is working great. It's a beautiful day. Right on, we're good to go. The rookie must fly another 400 miles north. A flight path that will take him over a barren landscape and a massive Arctic lake. Yellowknife Tower 3. Yellowknife Ground Show Boss, anyone going to be up on show radio? In Yellowknife, Air Boss Donna Flynn sets up for her air show practice. Oh, looking for tower. It's now the morning of practice day. I have all kinds of pilots trying to make their way in. John Melby is first to touch down. Oh, I made the yellow knife. Oh, man, what, a, what an adventure that was. But 100 miles to the south, Stefan is running late. And he's running low on fuel. I'm watching the bubble in my fuel line, and it's going down. The biplane has burned through its main fuel tank, so Stefan will need to switch to his auxiliary tank, riding in the front seat. I flip the switch, it stays on for two or three seconds, then it flips itself off. Stefan declare an emergency. He's becoming very fuel critical. There is an airport for resolution currently at your uh, nine o'clock for a small field. Do you want to go there instead? Stefan has one chance to change the course of his flight path. A remote landing strip just 20 minutes away. If I land, I'm going to have to get fuel flowing out to me. 
I could miss the air show. Now I'm faced with a decision. I can land at the remote strip, or I can go across Great Slave Lake and try and make it to Yeldenknife. All right, thanks. Uh, kill in the X-ray. Uh, just uh, deciding here. Stefan is now gambling. He'll make it across 40 miles of frigid lake before his fuel tank runs dry. I've got one option. That's to make it to Yellowknife. 60 miles to the south, Super Dave can only listen to the emergency unfold. There's nowhere to land up there. There's water or rocks. There's nothing I can do at that point. Horrible feeling. In Yellowknife, John Melby launches to intercept Stefan. The hair is standing up on the back of my neck because I'm scared for Stefan. Towers, this is H2 Mike. Can you give me vectors to the incoming aircraft? The about a 128 heading. I'm looking, I don't see him. Well, it's tough to see. Yeah, you're chasing him now. He's at your 12 o'clock, two miles, one mile now, 3,100. Stefan, is that you? Uh, yeah, this is Stefan. Oh, I got you now, I got you. Stefan, I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna stay plenty away from you. I'm just staying in with you, okay? All right. Got a buddy up here. Let's speak. Stefan clears the lake. Nice job. But it's still two miles short of the airport. You can make it. You can make it. I'm going down. Two miles from Yellowknife Airport, Stefan is out of fuel. I'm going down. I'm going down. Stefan, I'm uh, take that road that's right in front of you. Flying off Stefan's wing, John can only watch as the young pilot attempts to land on a narrow highway. There's power lines there. And there's cars going both directions, so you could hit those too. Stefan's a new pilot. This is experienced pilot stuff. And I'm thinking he's gonna die. You can make it, you can make it. Pull the prop all the way back. Hang in there, turn, turn right, turn right a little bit. Stefan, you're okay. Okay. <laughs> I couldn't believe I did it. I thought I was done. A landing like that is like a one in a hundred for him to land on that road actually survived that is a miracle. 
I've seen a lot of things in my career, but that's one that made my heart stand still. I just flew over 30 miles of water and the engine quit and the first highway on the land I set the airplane down on. This is, this is stupid. The fact that he was able to pull off the landing without killing himself says a lot about his flying skill. It also shows his inexperience of getting himself in that spot in the first place. So Stefan's first air show just about kills him before the show starts. It cost me thousands of dollars to, to get out here. And then I'm probably not even going to be able to fly tomorrow. The hard landing snapped off Stefan's tailwheel. There's people flying around. I'm on the ground with problems. I'm sitting on a highway with an airplane that's not working. Great. This is fantastic. OK, Stefan, you want to grab here? Yeah. Just just right at all. Like, if you lift up too far out, it's going it, to, you're, you're going to, we're going to bend this tail. Stefan is quite keen to fly at this air show. Yeah, you're on. We are? Yeah, yeah, should be able to just slide up. Keep going. First show, new site, no practice, and an airplane that has just been in a crash. Bad combination. We got to make sure you're safe before you go flying again. Air show or otherwise. Air show has nothing to do with it, just flying the airplane. In California. If we just keep the angle pointed at you and let the wingman out. The Patriots face their first performance of the season. You see all the little hitches in it? Uh-huh. It'd just be a fan out. With a new maneuver that's been nothing but trouble. And that way, we're starting from a single point that then fans out. If we don't do a fan break right, it's really apparent to the crowd because they can see if it's symmetrical or not. We're going into this. You know, a little apprehensive. At the show site, a NASCAR track 90 miles from the hangar, the Patriots announcers have arrived. Ready to go, so any little setback at this point, it'll be huge for us. But the team's new air boss is missing. We're quite concerned that Zippy hasn't arrived yet. He's running that briefing today. If we can't find him, the whole, the whole box will be closed. No air show today. At the hangar. Not yet. Standing by. FAA is threatening to uh, cancel the show. It's becoming clear to Randy his team may not be allowed to fly. It's uh, eight minutes till eight now, and he's not answering phone calls. I'm concerned that maybe he was in an accident. I, I don't know where he is. At the Patriots hangar, so what's the latest? Uh, Randy's jet team is on the brink. The FAA said they were going to shut it down. About to lose their first air show of the season. He's got nine minutes. They said if he's not there at 8.15, they're shutting it down. The team's rookie air boss was supposed to be at the show site an hour ago. If we lose this show, it could crush our reputation on the air show circuit. I'm not happy at all. Zippy's the air boss. He's our man on the ground. No Zippy, no show. We'd mess this up, and we'd lose the future possibilities with NASCAR. I mean, that could be a big hit to the team. Not yet. Standing by. Stuck in traffic with a dead cell phone, Zippy finally arrives at the track. I'm supposed to be there. The air show gets canceled, I'm going to feel horrible. He just showed up. So that's from Stryker. He says he's here briefing now. Mojo. Yeah. 12 minutes to engine start. 12 minutes. 12, OK. It was like a weight was lifted off of my shoulders. Patriots shut. Two, three, four, five, six. Ground. 32,000 pounds of thrust. In the Canadian Arctic. For our first 
An air show is underway. But the talk of the airfield is about what happened to a young pilot en route here yesterday. Less than 12 hours ago, Stefan Trischuk made an emergency landing on a local highway. Nice job. If there's any way I can possibly still get into this air show, I'm going to do everything I can to make it happen. Right, eh? Perfect. That's exactly the way it was before. Just like that? Just like that. I'm thinking, maybe I can still fly this show. Got a sec? Uh, yeah. But Dave and John step in. Me and John were talking about, as far as today goes, mm -hmm. what you, we talked about it and you know, being at your first show and what you've already been through, <laughs> which is pretty serious stuff. We think it's best that you sit, sit this one out. Stefan's now got a huge decision to make to fly not completely focused or to do the right thing and bow out. I'm sitting on the ground. I'm realizing, man, I almost just killed myself yesterday. I just had this scare in my life. And now I'm gonna go fly an air show? I'm not gonna do it. That's a wise move, Stephen. Let's go. It's good. Very, very good. Donna, will you have a second? Sure. He tells me I'm not going to fly. Knowing how desperate he was to fly that very first air show, I was extremely proud of him. Donna said, Go get it. I wasn't going to let you fly anyway. But she said, I wanted you to make the decision. Hey, 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 hey. Give it to us. Dave and John. Contact. Tear up the sky. But Stefan spends his first air show on the ground. Moving forward, I'm going to realize that at any time, I can have a failure. I can't let my guard down for a single second. It was a wake-up call to us, too, for us to realize how much he doesn't know. He's got that fire, and uh, he wants to make it. Key is to make sure he stays alive long enough to, to see it. At another air show, 600 miles to the south. You guys slow it down over there? No, we're not. Wing walker Carol Pilon and pilot Marcus Payne get ready to fly. I thought you said, are you slowing down? I said, hell no, we're not okay. slowing down. Well, we're good here. The challenge this year is Carol's health. You know, she's got a wounded shoulder. This season, <sighs> Carol's been struggling to perform. My arm is in excruciating pain almost all the time. <sighs> Baggage compartment was full up open. Okay. It's unnerving to Carol, and she gets nervous. It's closed now. I expect it. I accept it, and I, you know, let her throw those lightning bolts. Carol and Marcus have one chance to practice before tomorrow's air show. So we're ready to go whenever you are. Airspace is yours. You're clear for takeoff, whatever runway you like. Thank you, Marcus. The only way to do it is to get your body on the platform. Now we're going to see how it works. Because of her injury, Carol shifts further forward on the wing wires. First maneuver. Wham! He loads me with a four and a half point G loop. My hip bone kind of gets crushed between two wires, and it pinches like a son of a gun. Unable to fight through the pain, Carol cuts the practice short. The basic hand signal that we have is, it's OK, it's good, let's do it. So before every maneuver, Carol gets a thumbs up. And she confirms that she's good with a thumb up. 
What I'm thinking is he's asking me, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm okay. I give him a thumbs up. Except he's not asking if I'm okay at all. He's asking me if I'm ready to continue with the rest of the routine. He started to do an aerobatic maneuver. I was not tied in. A miscue between Carol and Marcus has put the wing walker in a desperate situation. The next maneuver is a hammerhead. We go through a period where we're weightless. That means anything that's not attached is going to float. Carol hadn't buckled her seatbelt. bottomed out. I was frantically giving him a thumbs down like this over top of my head. And uh, he got it. Boss, Marcus. We're done. Tragic fatal end. It scared the crap out of her. She was white. She was white when we landed. So what the f was that? Yeah. We're going to put the airplane in the hangar and we're done. We're good. Less than 24 hours before the air show, Carol must come to terms with a mistake that could have cost her her life. The fact that I allowed myself to be put in that situation is beyond ridiculous. Absolutely unforgivable mistake on my behalf. That's about as big of a up as one person can make in a day, and it's all on me. It's all on me. Timing me. Two minutes. Copy, coming up on two minutes. After being nearly shut down minutes before launch, the Patriots are seconds from starting their first show of the year. Do you see the three prominent hay bales that are on the show right into the box? Jet One pilot Wilbur leads the team over a racetrack. Choose the smallest of the three as the right end of the 1500-foot uh, line and line that up with the pond. Good afternoon, Sonoma Raceway fans. The foremost civilian six ship jet demonstration. All right, buddy. First show. Here we go. Here we go. First maneuvers. Show the team is still rusty. What I see, I'm not happy with. I think we can make it better. <laughs> that was real ugly. We just need to tighten a few things up. After powering through their 24-minute routine. First show of our new maneuver we call the fan break. Ready for the fan break, coaches? Wilbur lines up the jets to attempt the dangerous new finale. Wilbur has to be bang on with his calls. Two, three, four, five, six. So there's no risk of collision. I'm setting it up and I'm trying to make sure that we're right on course, but I don't know exactly how it's gonna turn out.
looking over my right, and I'm looking over my left, and everybody is looking perfect. It just doesn't get any better than that. Great show, guys. Thanks, Ebby. That was an awesome show. It was a pretty damn good show. Yeah, there's a couple little things, but it felt pretty good. It really is a testament to the, the guys on this team to be able to bring it when it's needed. It's a show. Good show, Wilbur. Good start of season. They did a great job. They just aced it. It was a great first show of the season. We got the first one under our belt, and the season is underway. But we still have a lot to improve upon. Eyes to the sky. Look out way out in front of us. It's show day for the wing walking team. I'm going to go do a couple of walkthroughs while I've got some quiet time. I'm feeling a little wiggy about it. I'm not feeling that 100% confidence that normally comes with me, and I'm having a hard time faking it. Yesterday, after failing to strap in and floating weightless, Carol came close to spilling out of her biplane. Here I am without one on, and I'm in the front cockpit, and we're doing aggro. People die when their lap belts break, for crying out loud. And the transition happens. Here. That got my attention real damn fast. Come back around and land. Okay. I'll be gentle on the bottom of the loops. Nice. For Carol, it's like getting knocked off a horse. Being scared of it, you know, it almost, you know, kicked her head in. And then she gets back on the horse. Boss, Marcus. All right, we're taking the box, and uh, we'll see you in the air. Give her a big wave, ladies and gentlemen. Here she comes, Carol Bilo. Our circus in the sky. I'm still a little leery about my situation. I'm not brimming with confidence over here. Give her a big wave, ladies and gentlemen, Carol Bilo. A nervous wing walker takes to the sky. They cannot communicate via radio. So they communicate with hand signals to one another. Can Carol do the wing walking routine? It could be catastrophic, especially in her condition. It's very unnerving. Smoke on is the signal to me that they're ready to begin. So here we go. Let's start the aerobatics. Wearing a parachute, ladies and gentlemen. You can see that she's now moving and stepping toward the cockpit to climb up onto the top wing. This time, Carol doesn't make any mistakes. It felt good just to get out there and have fun at it again. Like, really have fun. You see her flailing her arms around? That doesn't mean she's panicked or scared. That's her signals to Marcus that she's loving what's happening up there and everything's OK. When you look down, and there's just air under you in your airplane, it's like, wow. All of this hassle, heartache behind us on show day, Great flight. Carol was happy, I was happy, crowd was happy. The wing walker comes back from the edge. Finally got our crap together, and it was freaking awesome. Ah, vindication. It's a risky business. No risk, no business. Bottom line. Next time on Air Show. Rocket Man. Stefan gets a second chance. He is about to begin 
Oh. But nothing comes easy. Three strikes, you're out. Oh, crap. The air racer is back on track. It's racing. I'm out there to go fast. But high winds... Oh, I knew it! ...threaten his dream. And an unexpected guest... Who's that? Go get him! ...becomes Donna's nightmare. Oh, you're kidding! You see the dude on the runway? 